Colin Gillis joins us, Managing Director and Senior Analyst at Brigantine Advisors. Uh, currently, you have a buy rating on Google, and let's talk about the most important uh, things to the company. You say it's not really the phone right now, but really this uh, push into doing a, 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 getting a better share, I should say, of the display advertising. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there are three things that we love about Google and that drives our buy recommendation. Right? One is that they are the search leader, and, and they're making some tremendous strides within search right now to come up with new ad formats, right? Click to play video uh, ads with maps and locations in it, you know, deep linking. But that's all about direct marketing, which means that you're looking for something. So I want to go buy an airline ticket or I want to go buy a toy. So I see the ad, I click on it, I buy. But many advertisers want to get their brand out there. They want to have, you know, not necessarily a transaction right away. Like Coca-Cola doesn't want you to go and buy a Coke. They want to build an image of what their brand is all about. And Google's been lacking in that department. So how does Google make inroads in your view? Well, so and this is what the call was all about today, that they went out there and said, hey, look, you know, we actually are doing a lot of things on display and brand advertising, you know, just to kind of point out the highlights that, you know, YouTube has, you know, millions of views every day, that they bought a mobile ad platform called AdMob. <clears throat> and the key behind display advertising is it's been a very complex and complicated buying process. It's typically one-to-one. -one. You know, think about, you know, Yahoo, right? You know, they have a salespeople, they're going out to agencies, you have to make creative, and you're buying on one site, and maybe the metrics you get back are very fuzzy. Google wants to automate all that. Let me ask you, though. You mentioned uh, YouTube, Google, um, Colin. I mean, is it really an asset in terms of uh, breaking into more ad you know, advertising, grabbing a bigger share here? Sure, because it's their video platform, right? So, you know, it basically, when you think about what drives emotion, you know, we, t television drives emotion, right? Because you can see and you can feel and you can hear. A three-letter ad that Google's known for, those little search ads, they don't really convey much, right? You know, it's like, click here to buy this, right? But video conveys a great message. So that's what YouTube is good for. It's a platform to convey video messages. And uh, when you talk about display advertising, you're talking about anything that sort of pops up onto the screen and disappears, right? Because a lot of people just uh, tune out, phase out the advertising. Yeah, I don't absolutely. even see it when I look at a web page. And it doesn't anymore. always have to disappear. It could just be those little banner ads at the top of a web page and the box ads that come along the side. It could be the ads that pop up. You know, we're starting to see them more and more on the mobile side because right? there's been a lot of talk about mobile with the Android and the Verizon's Droid phone. And how does this monetize? You know, we talk about 100,000 apps available on the Apple iPhone. Well, a lot of times those apps are free. We're going to monetize them with small little display ads. So what about the Google phone? I mean, you were talking in the break. You said it's just noise. Not a big deal? A absolutely, it's noise. I mean, you know, l listen, the key thing about, you know, mobile is very important because the idea behind advertising is, is that the closer you are to transacting, the more valuable the advertising is, right? So if I'm searching for flowers, maybe that click is worth five, you know, 50 cents. If I'm searching for flowers in New York, then that, that click might be worth three or four dollars. And if I'm searching for a flower store within a block of me, right. then I'm probably going to go there and buy flowers, and that's probably worth, you know, that much more to the florist. Right. So the idea behind mobile is, is that we can be closer to using the geo data to where the person is going to transact. But all Google wants is more phones and more searches, not one particular phone. But I, I, I imagine it must be important to get your ads on certain phones. For example, Apple must control the advertising market for all of the uh, of, of the iPhone apps. Yeah, great question, Matt. Right, and really the key thing here is that I think what Google always does is they fight for a, a level playing field, and that their goal is if we have a level playing field, you know, we're mostly going to win because of our strong algorithms and our strong math and just the quality of, of our company. And so, you know, for like the Apple iPhone or even some of the Verizon deals, right? You know, these carriers cut deals to give priority access to a company like Microsoft that has a big checkbook. And if Google gets out there and has their own phone they can fight against that. All right, hey, Colin, thanks so much for joining us. Colin Gillis from Brigantine Advisors talking about Google, and they have a buy rating on that stock.